Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So today we got another SAT math problem to help you prep for the November SAT. Uh, so this one says in right triangle ABC, angle C is the right angle. So let's write, we want to like draw out our triangle. It's a snazzy triangle right there. So angle C we know is the right angle. And then it doesn't really matter what the other sides are. So ABC. Cool. It says uh, side BC has a value of 162. Let's label that. And point D on side AB, so on AB there is a point D, uh, is connected by a line segment with point E on side AC. So on AC there's a point E, um, they are connected by a line segment. And it says that this line segment DE is parallel to the side BC. So DE here is parallel to the side of BC. And the value of CE is twice that of AE. So I'm going to switch colors. So go AE here. Let's just call that value X. We know CE is just twice that value. So we call this 2X. And now they want us to find the length of line segment DE. So here we've got uh, similar triangles, right? Because triangle AED is inside of triangle ACB. Therefore, we need to find that scale factor. So we've got 2X here and X here. So the two triangles that we're really comparing are the following. So we've got triangle A, E, D, right? And then we've also got this bigger triangle, A, C, B, or A, B, C. So let me remove that. So knowing that, what we need to do is compare the side lengths, right? Because if we can find the scale factor, we can just use it to scale up our other values. So we know that for triangle A, E, D, the value for A, E is X. Now, we don't know the value of AC quite yet, but we can figure it out pretty easily because 2x plus x, that's going to give us a value of 3x. So we know AC now is just 3x. <clears throat> so now we know that since these two sides correspond with each other, we can just find the difference. So to go from 3x to x, that's a one-third scale factor, all right? So knowing we have a one-third scale factor, what we can do now is apply this one-third scale factor to our known value of 162 to find that side DE, right? Because side BC corresponds with side DE. So 162 here, we're going to just scale this down because 162 is the larger value on the larger triangle. So we can just divide this by 3. That's the same thing as multiplying by one-third. And 162 divided by 3 gives us a value of 50. Four, and therefore 54 is our final answer for the length of line segment DE. So guys, that does it for the video. Make sure you check out our other SAT math prep videos to get ready for the November SAT or any other SAT.